today's newspaper is on the counter. Times dated June 19, 1993. A front page article describes the most recent of the voodoo murders. Gabriel scans it but learns nothing new. The article reiterates that the voodoo aspect of the crime is faked. Gabriel shivers. It looked real enough to him. Elsewhere, there's an article about the history of Jackson Square called the Plaza d'Armes under French rule. It was used for executions, firing squads, hangings, even impalements and breaking on the wheel. Yikes! Of course, these days, it's mostly a hangout for tourists, street musicians, and local artists. Gabriel also scans the Aquarius horoscope for the day. Chances of a dark star rising on this day. Do not trust your instincts. I feel a dark star rising, all right. Rawr. Got a minute, Grace? What's up? Seen any good movies? I saw a great documentary last night on pyramid excavations. You mean small, dark places that haven't been touched in centuries? Sounds right up your alley. Well, it did help me gain a better understanding of your mind. Did I ever tell you that you're actually quite attractive? Be still, my heart. Had any customers lately? No, but I'm sure you have. I'm going out. Don't hurry back on my account. Got a second, officer? What can I do you for? What can you tell me about snakes? What does this look like? A zoo? Never mind, don't answer that. No, I don't know nothing about no snakes. So, anything interesting happening around here? Look, I've got a job to do. Chat with someone else, huh? I'm here to see Detective Mosley. He's in his office. Go on back. She's not bad. Excuse me, officer? Yes? So, what's it like being a policewoman? The glamour never ceases. You know, that uniform looks great on you. Uh-huh. Is that a compliment, or are you asking to borrow my dress? It's a compliment. Well, you just never know around here. Thanks, but I'm married. Could you get me some coffee? Are you speaking to me? Why, yes. 
Wow, Deja Leave it to Beaver. I'm the police photographer, sir. You might be able to find someone around here dumb enough to get coffee for you, but it won't be me. Oh, thanks anyway. I can give you precise instructions for the handling of hot liquids if you need them. N no thanks. Oh, never mind. Fine, I'll get back to work. There's a photocopy machine in the office area. There's a temperature gauge on the wall near Mosley's office. Mostly, my man. It's you. God help me. That's funny. The window is a mirror on the other side. Whatever goes into those files never comes out. Whatever goes into those files never comes out. A microwave? If Gabriel knows Mosley, it's used exclusively for frozen corn dogs. Gabriel wouldn't put anything in that microwave. That window has a lovely view of an alleyway. The brick wall of the building next door, and some creative graffiti. If Mosley wants the window open, he can do it himself. Mosley's bookcase holds old magazines and binders. Police department memos and other didactic blurbs. Mosley's office looks a lot like his room at college. Mosley's desk has more growing on it than his head. Mosley was one of those beefy guys in his youth. Now he's getting lumpy. The badge in his front court pocket is set off particularly well by the gold polyester of his jacket. Can I ask you about some stuff? You're the writer. Ask away. What can you tell me about voodoo? There's voodoo that goes on in this city, sure. I looked into it a bit at the beginning of this case. But the voodoo stuff found at the crime scenes is all fate. It doesn't have anything to do with the real stuff. I know. I asked some experts. It's intimidation tactics. That's all. What else can you tell me about voodoo? I told you, don't worry about that part of it. It's all fate. What do you know about the voodoo murders? Lots. Can you be more specific? Do you know anything about the killers? At least 20 people attend the killings. We know this from the variety of footprints found at the scenes. Footprints? Aren't those as good as fingerprints? Can be, but we'd have to have a suspect in custody first. And the suspect would have to match one of the few distinct prints we have. Most of the footprints are smudged, trodden over, unreadable. These guys are so casual in their expertise, it's maddening like they know we'll never find them. How many murders have there been so far? Seven murders have so far been linked to the Voodoo Murders case. The first murder occurred about eight weeks ago. The M.O. is the same in each murder. Lake Pontchartrain was the seventh. What kind of evidence have you found? No fingerprints, a few bare footprints, Found a few fibers, but not many. The weirdest one was leopard fur. Leopard fur. 
Describe the crime scenes. Well, there's the corpse itself, minus the heart. Around where the body was killed, we find marks and flour and blood. There are traces of wax from candles, red and black. Ordinary wax candles, so the lab reports. Also blood and feathers of chickens and goat's blood. And plenty of the victim's own, of course. What's the coroner say? The victim's heart is always ripped out of the chest and missing. We haven't located a single one of them. Lovely. Any idea what they do with them? Don't even want to know. Also, the coroner says some of the victims had heart attacks before the incision. Literally scared to death. The knife wounds are consistent with a long, narrow, wavy-edged knife. Probably a ritualistic dagger. Any witnesses? Nope. There's never been a single witness. No one's even heard a disturbance. It's damned weird. Like they just don't want people to see. And so nobody sees nothing. Know anything about the victims? The victims are all out of towners. We still don't know why. Oh, nothing. Never mind. Sure, no problem. Okay, anything else? What can you tell me about Narlins? You and me grew up here together. You tell me. It's a pretty nice place, even seeing the stuff I see, you know. The Carter's getting a bit too wild, though. Getting hard to control. Not quite what it was when you and me used to hang here, but... Hell, I've never known anything else. What can you tell me about Narlins? Ah. I'm too sentimental to say anything else about it. Do you know anything about snakes? The only thing I know about snakes is that I don't like them. Tell me about yourself. For the book? Sure, why not? Okay, what do you want to know? How do you like working on the police force? Are you kidding? You know I love being a cop. And Narlins, it's the best place in the world to be one. What are your plans for the future? Well, you know, I don't like to count my chickens before they're hatched, but I don't see why I can't be the chief of police of Narlins someday. I already know the mayor, and my track record is one of the best in the department. I'm sure it's just a matter of moments, mostly. Yeah, yeah. You'll see. Got any hobbies? Yeah. Making your life miserable. I'm serious. Don't you shoot or chew or something like that? No. I'm a freaking ballet dancer. Jeez. Yeah. I was number one at the Louisiana State Fair Marksman Contest. I play trumpet, too. You know. Put your lips together and blow. How's your home life? Oh, real funny, Knight. Why don't you just bring in some freaking salt? You know Annie left me. My home life is shit. Right. Sorry about that. Just tell me anything at all. Remember how we used to play monkey in the middle? <laughs> Man, we used to piss off our senior year teacher. What was her name? Uh, oh, Miss McKelly. You'd act like you were gonna toss her an eraser or something. And then you'd throw it to me over her head. And we used to do it at your grand's too. Like with the remote when she wanted to watch her soaps. Yep, and it was a great way to pick up women in the library. <sighs> ah, those were the days. Just tell me anything at all. You know, my doctor told me I got a little family of ulcers starting. I wish this case would end so I could get some rest for a change. Just tell me anything at all. Oh, my back hurts. Just tell me anything at all. For the book, I wanted to be an astronaut when I was young, or a fireman. Fascinating. Just tell me anything at all. I'm 6'2". You are not. Oh, come on. I'm close enough. Just write me up that way. Oh. 
Just tell me anything at all. You know, I kind of like a woman with dark hair. Yeah, I know. It's a regular thing with you. Now that Grace... You're on your own with that one, pal. I don't even want to know. Oh, nothing. Never mind. Sure, no problem. Okay, anything else? I got those photographs you left for me. Really? Great! What'd you think? Astonishingly lifelike. Yeah, that's what I thought. You got any more ideas for photos for the book? Nope. I think we have everything we need. Okay, but you shouldn't underestimate the power of beefcake, my friend. So, how's it hanging, bud? Lousy. I hate crime scenes. People are sick fucks, you know that night? I'm starting to get that impression. You been feeling okay lately? You look like hell. Me? Ah, uh, you know. I can't sleep at night, what with thinking about the case and thinking about Annie. I can relate. Played any b-ball lately? Does it look like it? I'm so out of shape I'd probably have a coronary just looking at a ball. Yeah, I'm out of it too. We should play some time, get back into shape. <sighs> Man, I'd love to, Knight. I'll let you know if things ever settle down. Anything else new? Just work. Sorry I don't have more time to chat, bud. Trying for a real estate job with that coat? No. Are you trying out for a janitorial job with that hair? Have you ever called the hair club for man? I'd rather have no hair than your hair, Knight. So how do you find anything in this office? It looks like a war zone in here. Hey, I get my job done. I'm a detective, not Betty Crocker. Are those new shoes? What are those, loafers? Kind of a mud-brown suede kind of thing? Hey, I'm on my feet all day, all right? Is that okay with you? Mostly. I'm being perfectly sincere. Yeah, you and my grandmother. Right. Do you know anything about the patterns around the bodies? Yeah, weird, huh? All seven victims had those marks around them. We've got all the marks on file, but we haven't figured out what, if anything, they mean. Can I see the other six patterns? Uh, sure. People like that kind of stuff, don't they? Might make the book seem more mysterious. Go talk to Officer Franks. Tell her I said you could see the file. What's the status on the voodoo murders case? It's going. I can't seem to make any progress, though. Sluggish damn case. It's weird. I'll let you get back to it. Later, Knight. Excuse me, officer? Yes? Can you get a file for me? What file would that be? The Voodoo Murders file. Detective Mosley said I could see it. Really? Well, if you said so. There it is. You can look at it all you want, but don't leave this area with it, okay? And no photocopies either, I'm afraid. Of course. I understand completely.
It's the official police file containing the partial patterns from the voodoo murders. The folder is marked with the warning not to leave the police station. Gabriel opens and reads the police file. Don't leave the room with that file, please. I'm done. Yeah, thanks. Detective Mosley. Hard at work, I see. Yeah, yeah. What is it, you wanker? Dang air conditioning must be on the blink. Can I ask you about some stuff? You're the writer. Ask away. How about getting me some coffee? Coffee? You want coffee? Should that surprise you? Nah, you've always been a caffeine addict. It's just that what we got here hardly qualifies. So I'm desperate. It's your stomach. I'll get you some when we're done talking. That long? All right, I'll go now. Don't touch anything while I'm gone. I think I'll just borrow this badge. Hey, hey, what are you doing with my coat? Nothing. I thought I saw something crawling on it. Just drink this. Thanks, Tums. I mean it. Okay, anything else? I got those photographs you left for me. So you said. Did you think of any other shots for the book? A cop author photo might be nice. You and me? Together? Why not? Of course you'll have to try to tone down your masculinity. Well, okay. I'll call the police photographer. Uh, Franks, come in here a minute, would you? And bring your camera. I hate to put my coat on. It's so damn hot in here. But a picture is a picture. What did you need, Detective Mosley? We need a picture, please. And make it a good one, eh, sweetheart? Sure, sweetheart. Say, chintzy. Was there anything else, Knight? Hold on a sec while I go check my hair. Good God, Knight. Make it fast.
Just want to check this machine here. Gabriel has a photocopy of the official police file containing the partial patterns from the voodoo murders. Would you just get in here? Hurry up, would you? Okay, ready. Thanks, hon. Let me know when you get them developed. Uh, the photos, that is. Yeah, sure. Anything else, Knight? How about one of me and Officer Franks? Gee, I don't know. Uh, Franks? Uh, um... Just kidding, Franks. You want to get me fired for sexual harassment, Knight? Well... Yeah, ha ha. Now is there anything else, or can I let this lady go back to her desk? Nope. That's about it. Great. Thanks, Franks. Hey, I made a rhyme. You're astonishing, mostly. Don't call me that in front of the lady, wise guy. Thank God I can take this thing off again. Damn, it's hot. Okay, anything else? Well, I'll be seeing you. Have a good one. Spotted roses marked the entrance to the house. Gabriel didn't come here to mess with the plants. The garden district is famous for its elaborate old plantation homes and mansions. This particular mansion is impeccably groomed. The windows are made of thick, heavy glass. The only thing Gabriel can see inside is even thicker drapery. It wouldn't be worth breaking into Malia's house. You.
The man looks intellectual, polished, and impervious. He gazes at Gabriel with a superior eye. Gabriel wonders if he's Malia's secretary, bodyguard, butler, or something more personal. I'd like to see Malia Giri, please. I'm sorry, but unless you have an appointment or official business, I cannot announce you. My name is Detective Mosley. I'm here on police business. Really? How interesting. Oh, wait here. I'll inform Ms. Getty. Ms. Getty will see you. Right this way. Ms. Getty will be down shortly. Thank you. What can I do for you, detective? Beautiful women. They must be relatives. They are. Modern art? More or less. It's a Picasso. Harvard classics. Homer, Virgil. Maybe Malia wouldn't be impressed by a signed copy of one of Gabriel's novels. The side table probably cost more than Gabriel's shop. Ming Dynasty, perhaps? Nice statue. I like it. Thank you. It's The Rebellious Slave by Michelangelo. Dante's Inferno. Nothing like a little light reading. The only thing Gabriel's likely to burn here is his bridges. Undoubtedly proof that there is a god. Mind if I ask you a few questions, Miss Giddy? I assume that's what you're here for, Detective. What can you tell me about voodoo? Voodoo? Why would you want to know about that, Detective? It's rather silly, isn't it? There's nothing silly about the voodoo murders. But that voodoo is faked. That's what I've read in the papers. That's what the papers say, all right. But you're not convinced. No, frankly, I'm not. The police department isn't known for its uh, imagination. Oh? Well, I can see that your imagination is considerable. Are you sure you can't tell me anything about voodoo? I really don't know much about it. Isn't there some place in town that you can find out about that sort of thing? A museum or something? I believe there is a museum. Then maybe you should check there. What do you know about the voodoo murders? The murders? Only what I read in the papers. And what do you read in the papers? I'm sure you know much more about it than I. Detective. Tell me about your life in New Orleans. 
The Getty family came to New Orleans in 1800. We worked very hard to get where we are. On the other hand, we've done a lot for this community. I can believe that. You're doing a lot for me right now. Tell me more about New Orleans. I'm afraid I don't get out into New Orleans society much. Because of the Getty money, we have slots in the best country clubs and on the best Mardi Gras courts. But I must admit, I hate it. I avoid actually making an appearance unless it becomes absolutely necessary. I know about those courts. They're very exclusive. Yes, especially when it comes to people of my race. That's why we don't turn down the appointments. It's a rare opportunity to rub their noses in it. But that's not where I spend my time. I have more important things to do with my life. That's admirable. Many women would love the chance to get caught up in that kind of life. I'm not any kind of woman you might be familiar with. Yes, I can see that. Do you know anything about snakes? I'm no expert. I don't fear them like most people do. Tell me about yourself. I suppose I don't really have a choice. What do you want to know, Detective? What kind of things interest you? I don't have a lot of free time, but I do appreciate the arts. Opera, symphony, ballet, fine art. If you look around, you'll see that we collect African art, for example. Yes, it's very beautiful. It is, Detective. It means a great deal to me. Do you have a career? A career? Being the head of the Getty family is a 24-hour-a-day job. We have many holdings and many responsibilities, financial and otherwise. The management of our business affairs and properties leaves me with time for little else. Poor little rich girl. Believe it or not, detective, wealth does have its price. Tell me about your family. The Gettys? We're a very private family. How many people are there in your family? Well, my mother just passed away. Oh, I am sorry. So am I. She was a magnificent woman. We were very close. I was an only child. And your father? I never knew him. It's hard to believe that any man would leave a woman like you. Or like your mother must have been. He did not leave, Detective. But that's really none of your concern. I'm sorry. Go on. There are, of course, other Geddes in the city. I have a large extended family. I see. Do you have a husband, boyfriend? I'm very independent, Detective. The women in my family have always preferred it that way. So you've never been married? No, and I never will be. What about children? Yes, that is likely. Someday. I'd like to hear just about anything. I have a business degree from Vanderbilt. I wanted to study psychology, but my family's interests came first. Oh, why not something like law then? Surely that would have been an asset to the family. Law? Please, I do have some morals, detective. I'd like to hear just about anything. For the record, I'm 28, detective. I'd like to hear just about anything. I have few friends. A woman in my position can't really afford them. I'd like to hear just about anything. I try to stay away from the media as much as possible. Last year there was that story about John Jr. and I. Phone didn't stop ringing for weeks. I prefer to keep my private life private. I would appreciate it if you'd keep my name away from any public association with the police, detective. Of course. I wouldn't know where to begin. As you wish, detective. This is quite a place. Thank you. It's been in the family a long time. Done anything exciting lately? I'm sorry, but I'm very busy. Can we get to the point? Can you tell me anything about what happened out at the lake? I wish I could. 
but I've never seen or heard anything unusual at the lake. And I do spend quite a bit of time out there. So what's new with you? Nothing that would interest you, I'm sure, Detective. Excuse me, but your eyes are really distracting. I don't think I've ever seen a color quite like that brownish gold. It's so deep and rich. Man, if I could bottle that, I'd make a fortune. Thank you, Detective. That's an interesting observation, though probably not relevant to your case. A good detective never knows what might be relevant, Miss Giddy. Then you must be truly exceptional at your job. I can't help noticing that you're in incredible shape, Miss Giddy. Your legs are so strong. Do you work out at one of the clubs by the lake? Well, Detective, I do enjoy physical activity. Oh, me too. Actually, I was referring to swimming and modern dance. I can't say that I do much exercising at the lake, though. Ah, well, it was worth asking. I think this has gone on long enough. You're not really a detective, are you? Who, me? Well, I am on this case, Miss Giddy. I saw you at the lake yesterday. I thought you must be with the police since you were there, but you don't act like a police officer. Besides, I'm rather certain that the other man said his name was Mosley. All right, you caught me. I'm not with the police. My name is Gabriel Knight. I'm a writer working with Detective Mosley on a book. Well, Mr. Knight, now that we've established who you are, perhaps you can tell me the real reason you're here. Well, I am researching the book, and I thought you might have seen or heard something at the lake. I don't like liars, Mr. Knight. Okay, okay, you're right. I really just wanted to see you again. You can be mad at me if you want, but I swear I've never done anything like this before. Mr. Knight, you've lied about your identity and wasted my time with meaningless questions. If it weren't vaguely flattering, I'd really be angry. You're lucky I don't call the real police. I think you should go, Mr. Knight. Molly, wait. If you just give me a chance. I've wasted enough time. I'll have Robert show you out. Robert? Show Mr. Knight out, please. I most certainly will. Thank you very much. I had a lovely time. Ah, shit. <laughs>